Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everybody, my name is Sabrina de la Bonomo. I'm from grade 9B and today I'll be talking about my English fair project which is twist the ending or alternate ending So I'll be answering a few questions that is given to me by my English teacher Let's get started The first question is What is the title of your novel or book and its author? The title of the book that I read is Coraline and it's written by Neil Gaiman the second question is, what was the original ending of your story? The original ending of Coraline is that she manages to escape the other mother in the end, manages to set the trapped souls of the three children free, and also save her parents from the snow globe. All of them escaped and swore not to go back there. In the end, Coraline's parents forgot about what happened there except for her. So the third question is, give us your own ending version. So my own ending version or the alternate ending that I have created for Coraline is that Coraline will be stuck in the world of the other mother. She is stuck there alone without anybody to help her, not even her trusted black cat, her parents, or the trapped souls of the three children. She's stuck there not because she can't defeat the other mother, but she's stuck there because the other mother asked her to make a choice for her to escape or both her parents and the trapped souls of the three children to escape. She thought this out and came to the decision that she will be the one that stayed behind with the other mother. She made this decision because she wants to pay for her action, which led up to this mess in the first place. She realizes that she has been selfish throughout the time since she and her parents moved into their new flat, and she feels like this is the right way since all of this mess started because of her selfishness. She also doesn't want to be the one that forgets about her parents. She'd rather have them forget about her because she doesn't want to be the one that forget about the memory she has with her parents. She wants to use this memory to be something that cherishes her and makes her happy even when she's stuck there without knowing will it be forever or can she escape the other mother. So the fourth question is, why do you want to end that way? Is there any significant changes from the original ending? In the book, it ends happily with Coraline and her parents managing to escape, also her saving the souls of the three children, but I want this alternate ending to be something that the reader could imagine themselves what happened in the end. In this case, I want them to imagine or create their own ending and whether Coraline is stuck there forever or she manages to escape. So the ending whether or not Coraline is able to come back to the real world or she's stuck there forever is up to the reader's imagination. The changes that is the most significant is the main character Coraline's ending. Because in the original ending, she manages to escape but in the alternate ending, she didn't escape the other mother or she have to stay behind with the other mother and cannot come back to the real world. So the fifth question is, what were your struggles and challenges in making this different ending? How do you overcome those struggles and what did you learn from that struggle? So the struggle that I have personally is creating the alternate ending itself and trying to make the alternate ending connect with the original plot in the book and make sure that it doesn't go way too far from the plot of the book and also creates an ending that the reader can enjoy and can understand. How do I overcome the struggle? I will read the book over and over again to make sure that the ending that I have created and the plot of the book make sense and connect with each other so that the reader could understand the alternate ending that I have created. What did you learn from that struggle? The things that I learned from my struggle is probably that writing a story can be really difficult sometimes because you need to make sure that every word, paragraph, and chapter connect with each other and also make sense. Also that creating a storyline needs a lot of creativity in it to make it interesting enough so that people will read your story or book. Uh, the sixth question is, a lot of students nowadays find reading a novel or book boring. What advice can you give to them? And what advantage can you get in reading? For me personally, the advantage that I will give them is probably try to have the right mindset before reading a book. For me, through my experience, before I read a book, or when I want to be motivated in reading a book, I will think that by reading a book, you will be more creative in writing a story and you could learn new things that you never know before. 
and also try to know the genre of a book you're interested in because with finding a book that fits your interests reading it can be less boring for example fantasy is the genre you're interested in and by reading fantasy books you will find that reading a book is not that boring because you are personally interested to that genre so the last question is why is reading very important reading from what I know, reading stimulates the right side of our brain and widens our imagination, opens our minds to new possibilities and new ideas that helps us experience and analyze the world through the lives of others. It makes us imagine things beyond the possibilities and things that we don't usually think of. So yeah, I think that is why reading is very important. That's all from me for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you like it. And wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.